in third. But how is race number two going to go? Uh, Cube still in the commentary box with me. Um, what have you seen in that first race and, of course, our, uh, our, our, our first attempt at that race as well, uh, the abandoned race? What have you seen that might suggest who's going to go through to the final tonight? Well, I think what I've seen is that um, the, the results are changing a lot. And uh, we saw Lucas Moore winning that first, well, kind of practice race, but then finishing last in the in the second one. Um, so that means that the level is so close to each other that everyone can win if they just have the a good start, make some nice mark roundings, pick the right side. Everyone has a chance to be in that final match race tonight. All right. So our winner from uh, the first race, our second place, uh, Luca of Italy, uh, in the picture there. He's very calm collected. You see what I mean about uh, why we call him the uh, little magician of e-sailing. And he's looking fairly calm and collected. Lucas Moore. So dominant in our abandoned race, didn't quite pull it off in the uh, second race. But there we go. We'll see him come back. He's a very accomplished Danish e-sailor. Now all boats accelerating towards the start line with 15 seconds to go. It's very right. important that you get over that start line at full speed to get the most momentum out of your boat. Absolutely. You've got to hit that as close to zero as possible. And they are over. It is go for race number two of the night. Cruiserlater getting a good start. Closest to us coming into the mark on this first reach. And it is so busy, so congested. But Cruiserlater sneaks round in first. Lucas Moore in second. Filippo Lanfranchi picks up a penalty. And, also and that'll slow him down. He doesn't race. look happy no, by no. that, does he? <clears throat> So Cruiser later round that mark first with uh, Lucas Moore in second, Clack in third. So it's Spain and then two Danes. Indeed, and it's all very close. Cruiser later choosing to come out on his own on this far left side. Yes, it's it's an interesting choice from him because uh, well, in the radar it looks like the the right right hand side is still is still better. Um, and still, uh, it looks like it's paying off as Cruiserlater is still in the lead. So um, his decision might be uh, might be a very good. Yeah, look at that distance uh, that he's built up already in these early stages of the race. We're only on leg three of seven. Cruiserlater well out in front, fifty meters ahead of Lucas Moore of Denmark. Cruiserlater, who um, actually qualified for the World Championship finals this year, but couldn't make it because he had to go and get married. There are there are a lot of um, long-standing, suffering uh, wives and girlfriends um, who uh, <laughs> who are real support, a real support for these top sailors. But I think uh, cancelling your wedding just so that you can compete is probably a little bit too much. All right, here we go with our leader. We're having a look at uh, Cruiser later through that gate and that is a uh, fantastic performance from him at the moment second place Lucas Moore Lucas uh, Luka Kozlovic now in third and uh, we'll be interested to see if he can can close the gap but what is it about 250 meters or so uh, between Cruiser later and the second placed Dane do you think he, any of them can close that gap cube well, in, in the year 50, everything is possible. Those, those gaps seem really big, but it, it's really just one, one, uh, one mistake during attack or one wrong mark rounding that you make, and then everything can, uh, can be closed down again. So um, we, we cannot say anything uh, before the race is over, and it's, uh, it's still an open race. Well, we were talking about whether they could close the gap. That gap's already been closed considerably by Lucas Moore uh, on this uh, on this leg. Right behind him, Luka Kozlovic, all on that far side, on the right-hand side of the course. And they're taking it 
right to the boundary. Um, t looking at the screen, um, tell us about the conditions, Cube. Well, right now it's uh, we see the the windsock on the on the left, um, indicating that there might be a wind shift there, and that's the one that Cruz later uh, has has taken. Now, right now, we had to tack, of course, because of that boundary, but um, the, there's still more pressure on the right, so it's very it's it's very difficult to make that decision between going to the left and taking that wind shift or staying on the right into that uh, high pressure area white lines on your screen if you're watching these streams for the first time the what we call the ley lines the most efficient way of getting to the mark and cruiser later is at the gate and he is round first 160 odd meters between him and the second place boats but what a battle for second between uh, luka Kozlovic and lucas moore of denmark that's going to be a fascinating battle as it unfolds in these latter stages of the race really close between those two and then it's quite some distance back to fourth placed clack one two three but let's watch cruiser later cross the finish line to take his first victory of the night so that is a first and a third two podium finishes for cruiser of spain now what about this battle for second and third looks like lucas moore has it crosses the line ahead of luca kozlovic of italy so a good result again for those two lucas moore is beginning to come back from a disappointing first race indeed it looks like he's found his rhythm back and uh, with that second place really showed how capable he is of um, well doing some very good performances yeah so victory for uh, cruiser later then at uh, second place for uh, lucas moore and uh, luka kozlovic uh, this time is in third so two podium finishes for him as well tonight clack one two three is in fourth so that's his second fourth place finish of the night and our world champion uh, Philippe Lanfranchi gets his second fifth place finish of the night and Pepe who uh, won of course race number one is down in sixth this time be interesting to see how he does in that final race now uh, let's go over to those stats we see Lucas Moore having the best start with Cruiser later, really going for that, uh, well, he really went for those high pressure areas and uh, it showed off as he had the best average speed and also best maximum speed. Then, uh, well, while we didn't saw Pepe last race, now we see him uh, having sailed the shortest distance. So uh, a, very, a very good race from him, um, although he, didn't, uh, he did just finish sixth. Let's have one final look at uh, Cruiser later, our winner of uh, this race. There he is. How happy are you, Mr. Cruiser later, tonight? <laughs> He's doing, we can't hear you, but you can give us a thumbs up. Good stuff, mate. Um, two podium finishes, and he must be confident uh, in, uh, in making the grand final tonight, the uh, final match race that we will see as our fourth live streamed race so that's races one and two done and dusted race three is next